when you're going to install Firebase in an Ionic application that uses Angular, we usually open the terminal and start by installing the packages manually, like npm install Firebase and Angular Fire. This will install both Firebase and Angular Fire, and then we're going to be able to configure them in our application. To install everything, we're going to root the schematic ng add Angular Fire. Okay, so it's first going to say, like, we're going to start Angular Fire. This is the version. Do you want to proceed? We're going to say yes. And it's going to start installing the packages. Okay, this is where the fun part begins. Instead of, of us manually doing everything, what you're going to do here is that now the CLI is going to ask you, okay, what parts of Firebase do you want to initialize? Uh, let's say we're doing Firebase hosting, uh, authentication, Firestore, uh, let's see, cloud storage, and yeah, let's say also cloud functions. And we click enter. We log in with our account, and then it's going to ask us what project we want to use. In our case, I have one for examples here. I already have a web application. You select that web application to deploy Firebase hosting. You can create a new site or just the one that's there by default, and then it configures everything for you. So let's try to take a look at what is everything. Uh, first, it gives you the Firebase RC, where it's going to tell you what hosting it's going to use. Uh, it gives you the Firebase.json file, and in this file, you can see the Firebase hosting configuration. Also, you can navigate to the package.json file, and you're going to see that Angular Fire is installed here. And if you go to the AMP module, you're going to say that it's importing everything it needs for Firebase and it's initializing the packages that we said we wanted to initialize. So first here, the Firebase application, then it's initializing Firebase authentication, Firestore, functions, and storage. And the other good thing that it does is that it, in your environment file, it's going to add the credentials for your Firebase application. So you don't have to go to the console and look for them anymore. They are just going to be here by default. And that's it. All of this was mostly manual things that we used to do, like copy pasting credentials and initializing things here. But now you have like a, a, a good starting point to get your application up and running.